everyone and welcome back to Upside Down Disney. If you're new here, my name is Jess and today I am unboxing my June Bibbidi box. So <laughs> this gigantic box came to me a couple of days ago and I'm just not getting the chance to open it. It is not in the typical Bibbidi box. It is in a much bigger box um, with some adorable Bibbidi tape now that is like the same pattern on the boxes so that is adorable that they now have their own little like packing tape which i absolutely love um there is a fragile sticker on this but there typically always is on my video boxes anyway you just can't see it after i take the shrink wrap off of it um but yeah so i have no idea how big <laughs> like what is in here that is so big this month there was a lot of things that i favorited on my wish list um, there was an item that I had requested a couple months ago that I've just like been keeping on my preferences as like a requested item. Um, so yeah, no idea what's in here. I don't know if there's going to be a normal Bibbidi box in here and then whatever item didn't fit in the Bibbidi box separate or if it's just going to be the bag with the items in here, we'll, but we'll see. <laughs> we'll see when we open it up. Um, for anybody who does not know what Bibbidi is, Bibbidi is a monthly subscription box um where you can get they do a disney box they do a marvel star wars um a few other boxes they do a whole lot um and you basically get the subscription box each month sent to you and it is customized to your preferences there is a pretty extensive sheet that you fill out um that has you know do you want to get pins or lounge fly bags or whatever and you can list all of the things that you want all the characters that you would like to receive um things that like you absolutely do not want them to send you i have like a pretty extensive like do not send me these characters or these types of items list um and they you know go off of that and they also have a wish list um where each month they release you know a whole bunch of items that they have in stock that could possibly be in your box and you can go through and you favorite what you would like um and then if they can they will include those items in your box i usually if there are things that i like um, I'll favorite like a few things, um, probably more than what they could possibly fit in my box, but I do tend to favorite a whole lot of things just to give them some kind of ideas. Like if, you know, I can't get this one, then, you know, maybe I'll be able to get this thing that I like. So, um, yeah, I definitely take advantage of the wish, li wish list every month, um, that I get it. I've been getting a Bibbidi box every other month. I do get the ultimate magic box. So it is $120, um, plus shipping. So since it is a little bit of a splurge for me, I do get it every other month. Um, but yeah, so this is my June box. It got to me just before the end of the month. And I know that there has been like drama and tea with some uh, subscription boxes recently. Um, there are, there is one that I have been trying and I've been ordering from that I think I'm going to stop ordering from, but I have been very happy with my Vivity boxes so far. And anytime I open a box, I do give my honest opinion. Um, and so any boxes that I have ordered so far, I have been happy with, um, but there is a company that, um, I just, I'm kind of feeling like they're probably not worth worthy of getting my money anymore. So, um, yeah, if you want to see me still unbox those boxes and give like my honest review and like honest thoughts, definitely let me know. I can do that. I just don't really want to be that like channel that like attracts the drama and things like that. But if you guys genuinely want to see, you know, my opinion as somebody who has never paid, you know, who has never been sent a box from a company who does not um, work closely with the company, I don't think I include my channel name on, um, when I order boxes from these companies, I think for Bibbidi, I do just because they have like a spot for it on the wish list. But like for other companies, I have not put that, you know, I have a YouTube channel at all. Um, so to be just like totally transparent about that, most of these companies don't know who I am or I'm just so small that they don't care if they know, you know. So um, yeah, I definitely um, can give you an honest review if you would like. Um, otherwise... I can just never buy from that company again and that is how you'll know which company <laughs> I'm talking about um but yeah so getting into the Bibbidi box um this is what I see when I open the box we have the packing slip it is not in a little folder um this time but we are just going to put that off to the side because that contains our spoilers it tells us what's in the box how much it costs things like that and then I am just going to pull out the bag the big iridescent gorgeous bibbity bag and oh i feel some interesting things here okay so we are just going to 
open the bag and reach right in and see what I get. Ooh, okay, so first thing, I know what these are. Yay, these are the pride ears. Okay. <laughs> so I said recently how I was kind of disappointed with this year's pride ears. And I saw that Vivi had last year's pride ears available um, on the wish list. So I decided to give them a little heart to see if I would get them because I did um, get them for a giveaway that I did last year and then um, never bought them for myself. And I regretted that. So now I have them. So they are absolutely gorgeous. Um, they are a parks exclusive item. They have, if the items from Vivity have this little sticker on there, it means that they got it from the Disney parks and resorts. So yeah, this is something I favorited on my wish list, and they are these gorgeous. They almost look, remind me that of like shaved ice because of like the glitter details. It looks like that's what they're supposed to look like. Um, but they are gorgeous rainbow glittery ears. There is no mini bow on them, which was the thing that kind of disappointed me about them last year. But I like these better than I like the like this year's ones with the bow. And then you have love embroidered on these sides in rainbow. So super excited about these. We are going to say goodbye to the Star Wars ears. Sorry, Star Wars ears. And put on these. So this is perfect since it is my box for Pride Month. To rock these ears. And I do have a Rainbow Connection um, t-shirt on. We'll see if maybe I can get this video out before the end of June. <laughs> um, and it'll be my little Pride Bibbidi box. Um, so yeah, super excited about these perfect, wonderful, already knocking it out of the park and giving me something on my wish list. Let's feel, ooh, I feel a lounge fly bag. That is exciting. Okay, this next thing that I'm feeling feels like, yep, it is a wishes candle. Okay. And this is something else that I think I might have put on my wish list because I was reading it and I was like, that sounds like it's probably gonna smell really great. <laughs> or no, oh my gosh, okay, I don't think that this is something I put on my wish list. So this is a Thor inspired candle and it's called Love and Thunder. If you have been around for a bit, you know that I love Thor and Loki and like Thor is my favorite like Avenger, like from the original like Avengers. If you wanna go like Marvel characters in general, it's probably Captain Marvel, um, but Thor is my favorite. Okay, so my camera died <laughs> and so, um, but I think it left off at me saying that um, Thor is my favorite Avenger. So I'm super excited that this candle is Thor inspired. Um, and it doesn't say what the scents are supposed to be. Um, so I'm just gonna give it a smell and see what I think. And then I'll either leave in like a little like bar down here or, or right in the description what the scent is supposed to be. Um, oh, and this is a Bivity exclusive. So maybe I did favorite, I don't, I don't know. I don't know if this is a wishlist item. But so the top has glitter all over it because wishes candles always have glitter in the top that is like their signature thing and then the there is also always a disney pin inside of um these candles it i don't know that they're really like all authentic pins i don't know where she gets them from some of them could be scrappers i don't know um but either way it's you know whatever <laughs> it's still a cute like extra thing they get okay Ooh, okay I really cannot, it's, I'm maybe getting like a fruity, fruity scent. I think I might've favorited this and I think it maybe was supposed to be like pink lemonade or something. Or it's got kind of like a citrusy florally kind of scent. But as soon as I smell it and I also think I'm getting like cinnamon, but I, like snorting glitter at this point yeah I'm, I think it's probably some kind of like a fruity floral like a citrusy florally kind of like scent um but I will look it up and let you guys know for sure what these scents here are supposed to be it does smell great like it's it smells good don't get me wrong and I'm so excited to light this um but I just I have <laughs> I have no clue what the set profile is supposed to be here 
<laughs> I, I am no Thomas from Stitches Ohana who is like a, a candle scent like connoisseur and can always like pick out all the notes and the undertones and is like a master at this, but that is not me. All right, so I think we have one thing left in this bag and it feels like a lounge fly backpack. And there was a couple that I did put on my wish list this time. So I am excited to see what bag this is. I'm gonna try not to look at it as I unwrap it. I couldn't really tell through the wrapping and I put it on its like front. Um, so I'm looking at the back of the bag. But I am so, so excited. Let's see what this is. Again, I'm, I'm gonna really try not to look All right. Oh my God, it is. Okay, so this is the Spider Bun backpack. So we had this in the matching wallet on the wish list this time, and I am so excited about this bag. I absolutely loved Spider Gwen and Into the Spider Verse. I thought that she was just such like a fun character. I loved her humor and her like sarcasm and just everything about her was just so much fun. I'm not like a big comic book reader, so I didn't know much about Spider Gwen before seeing that movie, but I really hope that maybe in the Marvel Universe, like the MCU, we get like a Spider Gwen at some point or like I don't even know, but I loved her so much in Spider-Verse and I love her costume. It is like, like, look at that. Like this is the little cosplay backpack. So this is like what her costume basically looks like. Like how freaking cool is that? Like she's just so badass. And I'm like, ironically, I love Spider-Man and Spider-Red and like all the, but I'm terrified of spiders. Mine's <laughs> so have a little spider logo there. And then it is, just a gorgeous pink and blue colored like costume with like some black details. You have the Marvel lounge fly plaque on the one side. These are not um, pockets on the side, unfortunately, but that is okay. And then on the back, you just have black um, straps with a little blue um, detailing there. And then you do have the little Spider Gwen logo on the bottom corner embroidered into the back of the bag, which is such a nice touch. I love when there's little hidden details on the backs of bags. It is just so adorable. So um, absolutely perfect. And then you just have all of the hardware is silver and these zipper folds all say lounge fly. And so you do have a front pocket on this one, um, which I absolutely love the front pockets. I just throw little like makeup things and stuff in there. And then you have the lining on the inside, which I'll probably be able to show you better. Um, once I open up the backpack. So let me open up the bag and take some of the stuffing out. Okay, and so then here is the lining on the inside of the bag. You just have spider gun and some spiders and some pink spider webs printed all over it. And then this bag has an inside zipper pocket, which a lot of the lounge flies that I had previously don't have them because I think this is like a pretty new addition to the bags is to have that little inside zipper pocket. And I absolutely love that they include that because it helps to keep just everything organized. Um, so yeah, I am obsessed. She is beautiful and gorgeous and I love, so the material on like this little pink, like web detailing like kind of part is not it's almost like a it's like a very soft like faux leather material as opposed to like this is like a very like smooth material and then this is just like a, the typical lounge fly like faux leather if any of that makes sense let me know <laughs> but yeah this is a gorgeous bag and i cannot wait to use it Especially now that I can like go out into the world again, I'm definitely gonna take this with me on like a day trip into the city or something like that. Um, but yeah, so we're just, and then you have the handle, the top handle there. Um, and then you have the little marble tags and apply everything and whatever, but that's not important. What's important is how gorgeous this bag is. Oh my goodness. I am so happy that I got this bag. I'm just so happy with this box. Like. Like I said, guys, I am always completely honest in these reviews and talking about these these boxes and these things. I I know that when these companies get these things, they don't pay the full price for them. You're not, you know, obviously if you're getting the box, 
at a discount for what these items are. They're getting these items at even greater of a discount because they still have to make a profit. So I know that these ears probably came from the character warehouse. I'm okay with that. I the candle Bibbidi has a deal with Wish's Candle Company where they get exclusive candles so you know and then I'm sure that this Loungefly bag either came wholesale from Loungefly or was on sale somewhere or something like that you know like there are just things that like you should come to expect when you're ordering from a subscription box um service like this they you know and there are certain things to, that you can't really get mad at with them and then there are certain things that are unacceptable and that you can get mad at a company for but I've never been disappointed by Vividity in the sense of a box not coming on time you know they state clearly on their website your box can ship anywhere until the last day of the month so this box could have shipped out on June 30th um and I would have gotten it sometime in July but like that is something that is listed on their website so that's something to expect to happen from time to time um this you know my last box I don't think shipped until the very end of the month and I got it in, in um I got it in May and it was my April box so you know it, it, there there are things that you should expect from these companies there are you know their policies are clearly listed and, and written out on their sites so once something kind of doesn't follow with that anymore that's when you can kind of get a little bit like yo what's going on here um but i've never had that issue with bibbity i have loved every box that i've gotten from them some items are of course little filler items and you know other you know other things are big like awesome items like these lounge flies but that is also to be expected every item can't be a big like hitter um item in every single box but they all have still been items that i have put on my preferences that are okay to send me with characters that are okay to send me and things like that so absolutely love vividity would highly recommend them if you are looking to purchase a disney subscription box for yourself i will leave their website link down below so that you can check them out um there's always like a little spinny wheel that you can get you know a discount code for money off of your box there or there are other youtubers that have discount codes if you want to go and search for whoever their brand reps are at the moment but yeah, Bibbidi's an awesome company and I've been super happy with them. Um, so yeah, definitely would recommend. I love my box and now I, we should look at the packing slip and see and see what kind of value I got out of this box. So like I said, this is an ultimate magic box. This retails for $119 plus shipping. Um, and so my box was curated by Josh. Um, Josh might be one of their husbands or something that helps out I, I've never had my box packed by Josh before um but he absolutely killed it awesome job I don't know if Josh is one of the girl's husbands or if he's just somebody else that works there I know that this is a very like family oriented business where it's basically um Becky Amanda their mom Brenda and like most of the people that are working for them are helping out our family um so I don't know if he's a husband or boyfriend of, of somebody but um, he did an amazing job with this box, <laughs> like knocked it out of the park. So the items that I got in this box are the Disney Parks exclusive ears headband, Rainbow Pride, which were $29.99 in the parks. Uh, the Launchfly Marvel Spider-Gwen cosplay mini backpack, which retailed for $75. And then the Bibbidi X Wishes Candle Co. 8 ounce Bibbidi exclusive Marvel Thor inspired Love and Thunder candle, which retailed for $20 which makes the total retail value of my box $124.99 and again this box costs $119 um $119 $120 um before shipping so I got about a four or five dollar value out of this box which is pretty good um for a subscription box I think you know I'm not expecting a $20 value out of every single box that I get I have gotten up to like a $10 value before um, from Bibbidi. So, you know, it all just kind of depends on what they, um, uh, what you wish list, what they can get you and things like that for each month. But I am so happy with this. I'm happy to have these ears. Finally, I knew that that was like my last ditch effort to get these ears since they were no longer available in store or online anywhere anymore. Um, so super glad I got those. I am obsessed with the backpack and I can't wait to use it. And I cannot wait to burn that candle and figure out what exactly it's supposed to smell like. But yeah, if you like this video, please give it a huge thumbs up and leave a comment down below. Let me know what your favorite thing from your Bibbidi box was this month. If you get one yourself, what are your thoughts on Disney subscription boxes? Um, what is one of your favorite thing from this box? If you've never ordered from a Disney subscription box before. Um, and yeah, I would love to talk about anything and everything Disney and subscription box related down below in the comments. 
If you like this video and you want to see and hear more of me, you can follow me over on Instagram at Upside on Disney. I will leave it linked down below as always. Um, and I hope that you are all having a magical day and I will see you all in the next one. Bye everyone. Thank you.